Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Storyline Blaze Matweedy card to review today. So, we're taking a look at someone that is 5'11", medium high work rates, left footed, 2 star skills with a 2 star weak foot. So, people looked at that right away and they were like, nah, this card is just not the it factor. Here's the thing guys, when it comes to CDMs, I just want them to be very, very solid in the CDM position defensively, okay? And as you guys know, Matuidi's card when it was the rare gold version was a freaking beast in the CDM position. He was actually, I think he was like really expensive at the time for like a regular road to glory, but then after some time, he got a little bit cheaper, I was able to use him in my squad and he was actually really nice. Um, Medium high work rated, left footed. I'm going to put him in the left center defensive position because you could see in this team right here that we can use Alon in the right center defensive position, which will be perfect. I actually kind of want to try something out where it's like Matuidi's on stay back while attacking cover center and then Alon's going to be on balance cover center because he also has medium high, but he actually has like an attacking presence with 90 attacking positioning. Uh, Matuidi's at an 85, so if I tell him to stay back while attacking with the medium high work rates, I feel like he won't overcommit as much, uh, which we will be trying out. So, in regards to traits, he has the he actually has a finesse shot trait, which is really cool. Um, when you have the finesse shot trait, you have shot power, but you don't have finishing. So, when he has the finesse shot trait, it just it's it's good because there will be moments where it would just be nice to be able to finesse shot with him. But because I would mostly be using him in the left center defenseman position, anyways. It's not necessarily like a big deal, but it's always nice to have, right? I wish every card had the finesse shot trait because it would literally be amazing to be able to score like that consistently just inside the 18-yard box, right? So with Matuidi's card, guys, he has 90 acceleration with 85 sprint speed. So because the acceleration is actually higher than the sprint speed, you don't necessarily need to give him the shadow chemistry style because... Obviously, uh, he would have 95 acceleration with 90 sprint speed, and I feel like that'd be really good in the CDM position, especially since I think for most people's teams, he's going to be on stay back while attacking anyways. Uh, he's got 85 attacking positioning, 70 finishing, 92 shot power, so he can pop in a long shot from time to time. Uh, he's not going to be amazing at it, but he'll be able to do it. Uh, passing stats on the card, the only thing that's really missing on it is curve. Not really a big deal. Obviously, it's good for CDMs to have a good attacking presence because... At the end of the day, when you're building up a play with a 4-4-2 or a 4-2-3-1, the way that the play is usually built up is, you know, you're using left mids, right mids, left attacking mids, right attacking mids, come back, go into the CDM position, center mid position, and then go forward, right? That's usually how that works. Uh, that's why players like the Young and stuff are, like, amazing to use, right? Uh, but with Matuidi, he may not be... I don't think he's not going to be because his dribbling stats are pretty nice for a CDM, to be honest, right? But passing is just the curve that's a little bit off. Dribbling stats are have been significantly improved on this card, like massively, okay? Those stats for a CDM, even a center mid, is going to be really, really nice, especially since he has the specific body type and work rates in game to kind of like use that really nicely. So that's awesome. Uh, defensive stats on him is basically almost perfect as well, um, but you'd be boosting it with the anchor chemistry style regardless because, again, you focus on this card more defensively than it is attacking-wise, right? Um, I said I was going to use Flashback Alon on balance, but I actually want to use Matuidi on balance because I want to see what he's like when he overcommits because normally, under regular circumstances, I would use Alon to be the guy on balance, but I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Um, and then physical stats on the card, he has 84 strength, 97 aggression, which is awesome, and uh, 99 stamina. So this is also another very good selection. It'd be nice to be able to grind the game like crazy and collect all three of the cards because I like Julian Draxler's card a lot. You guys should check out the review for that. Uh, but I think Matuidi would also be good for stuff like this or like the Frank Ribery card. By the ways, guys, in regards to Frank Ribery, I personally didn't think he was worth the price value of the card, but he's still really fun to use in the middle position. That's not the point, right? Uh, you know, the thing about player reviews is that you can't really ever say if a card is worth the price because then people are like, no, Inception, you're out of your mind, you're crazy, blah, blah. And I get it, you know what I'm saying? But I just didn't think he was worth the price value. But did I think he was sick playing through the middle? Absolutely, right? Um, so the way that this is going to work in game, guys, is going to be the 4-2-3-1, as we normally do, right? 5-4, five 5-4. And four, five and four. We're going to put these ones lower. Uh, I think this is set up perfectly where Dries Mertens will be the cam and then Frank Ribery is a striker because I don't rate Ribery too much as a cam even though he's still definitely really good there. I rate him a lot as a striker. The 5-star, five 5-star, five being super agile to get past opponents, really nice. Um, 
yeah, so the instructions for the three cams are going to be on balance. Ribery will also be on balance because it's off the ball movement up top in the strike position is nice. And then Matuidi along will be a cut passing lane, stay back while attacking cover center. The only thing that we're going to do is change Matuidi. So we're going to have balance on Matuidi just to see what he's like if he actually ends up pushing forward and all that fun stuff. Normally, like I was saying earlier, this guy would be the one that's on balance because of his attacking presence that he has. But he also has the medium high work rates to come back in defense as well, right? So um, that's what I was taking into consideration. And we might try that out as the game progresses, right? So let's get into a game, see how well Matuidi positions himself on the pitch. Hopefully he's a beast. Uh, this guy's doing some sort of Portuguese objective, I think, but this should be a good team to try out against, too. Okay, so we'll play some regular FIFA. We'll see what's up with this card. Ooh, his dribbling's nice! Look at that! I like that. Okay, for a CDM, that's gonna be awesome. His positioning right there when I lost possession of the ball is actually kind of solid. Even the way that he's positioned right now in the CDM spot with the medium highs, I feel like this guy will be really, really well balanced with the uh, flashback a lot in the squad for sure. Nice goal there with Politano. Really well worked. Uh, the way that the team is currently set up, off the ball movement is a little bit weird. I think the reason why that is is because of Merton's high low work rate. So because Merton's is a high low work rate player, it just makes more sense to me for me to have him up top in this team setup because of the high medium high medium high medium right so it just makes more sense to do that instead yeah he doesn't really emphasize anything his dribbling is actually really solid i like matui's positioning there as well you see how he lingers around the edge of the 18 yard box that's what i'm talking about man i like when cdms move that way Really good positioning from the defensive area to the attacking area. I like that. It's good that he spaces him. Uh, it's good that he spaces himself out like that. You know, transitioning with the card is great. This is me holding LT and RT at the same time, so you can see that he actually defends really nicely, going left and right. And that's obviously because of the fact that he has great ball roll. It's obviously because of the fact that he has the uh, the dribbling stats to be able to do that really quickly. Good interception right there, height, good interception stats will make up for that for sure. Manual goalkeeping, oh my god, that was too much power? Are you kidding me? I'm pretty sure I know how to zoom up the shot right there. That would have been a fantastic goal there as well, that sucks. Nice little free kick tactic to score that opportunity. Kind of makes up for the Mertens one, so we'll take that. Yeah, so so far, guys, uh, this card is going to be a 6 CDM, and I'm, I'm going to tell you guys why, okay? He is really defensive-oriented, even if he's on the balance instruction. So that 85 attacking positioning, he is rarely going to attack with that with the medium-high work rates. It's very different to Alon's card. Like, Alon is a little bit more aggressive in regards to... Uh, pushing forward, but Tweedy is not so much. So it's actually very interesting because I feel like if you have two medium high work rate players on balance instructions, I feel like they would kind of balance out really nicely in order for them to offer an attacking support as well as a defensive support because of those high defensive work rates pushing back, you know? So I think my boy over here has something really nice to work with, to be honest. Again, I let go of him right there, edge of the 18 yard box, semicircle area. He rotates a lot with Alon, actually. Like, sometimes, you guys know how I set him up in the left center defensive position. Like, right now, he's he's not playing the left center defensive position, which is perfectly fine. He has a finesse shot trade, so it's not an issue if he does that, you know? Oh, I just really want to try a shot from long range. You can see that his shot power is actually really solid. You see how I'm controlling Alon? Look at the way Matui keeps marking that one dude right there. I go into the, to the middle area. Look, edge of the 18-yard box. You see that semicircle area? It's exactly what I want, man. Oh, with your right foot. <laughs> I tried. I tried. It was going to be very awkward for me to get into a situation there where it wasn't going to be on his right foot. That right there 
is where it can present to be a problem. Now, the reason why he's moving like this, it might be because he's on the balance instruction, right? So what we would have to do in a situation like this is we would probably have to put both of the CDMs on balance instruction so that they kind of stick to their own positions a little bit more. Uh, but you could see that if that was on his left foot right there, he could have potentially scored. But because he was, because he was in the right um, center defensive position, um, you know, because he was in the right center defensive position, he shot with his right foot in a situation. It would be nice to shoot with his left foot on the left side, you know what I'm saying? But 85 attacking positioning, he'll do it sometimes, but he still feels more defensive oriented on the balance. Oh, Matui doesn't joke around, my boy. He doesn't joke around. From behind as well, eh? Nice. Possession-based interception, too. It doesn't just flick it away from him. That was awesome. Okay, guys. So, I'm balanced. He's going to attack sometimes, but I like that he's he he wants to be more defensive than he is attacking on the balance. So, that way, on the stay back while attacking instruction, he's going to be awesome. So, uh, in the next game, I want to play... You know what? I was going to do a lawn on... Yeah, I want to try that out. A lawn on balance with him on stay back while attacking cover center. Okay, guys, so a few things we're going to adjust with this team is we're going to have Frank Ribery, uh, Dries Mertens, Frank Ribery over here, Palatano. We're actually going to do this. We're going to put Dries Mertens off to the side here, and we're going to use Frank Ribery up top in the striker position with Palatano as the cam. And then what we're going to do for the instructions on the CDM is we're going to have Alon on a balanced, but then Matweedy is going to be on stay back while attacking cut passing lanes. I want to try that out with the card. Uh, so far, I'm liking it though. He's a very, very solid CDM. Two star, two star is not necessarily a big deal, but you know, situations where your CDMs like to switch between each other, it will be a big deal from certain attacking opportunities because you know, it's always nice to have at least a four or five star weak foot if you do end up getting in those spots, right? Um, but Alon's in a similar boat, doesn't necessarily have the four star weak foot, but it's just if you're taking every variable into consideration, you know what I'm saying? The way this guy has his team set up is kind of interesting, actually, because Carvajal on 7 chemistry with Kembempe on the right side on basic. It's not bad. That was so awkward. My player just did not want to settle that ball for some reason. I tried to, like, settle it and then go for, like, a finesse shot right there, but we ended up getting the back heel there with Frank Ribery. Ah, I try to get a strong pass right there. That sucks. I think a regular fake shot going on to his left side there. Going for the strike would have been good there. Nicely done there, Ribery. Yeah, his, uh, he's just got to be up top as a striker. He's weird as a, as a cam or left and right attacking mid. I just didn't like him there at all. Oh, that's one way to get a deflection. <laughs> oh, that sucks. <laughs> ah, five-star week for Ribery. See? It's just like quick dribbles you have to use uh, with this card to get into certain positions. Use that five-star weak foot of his. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I try to do a pass. It deflects off the goalie. Frank Ribery's like, header. Well, this dude ended up rage quitting. Um, yeah, Matuidi's a, Matuidi's a very solid CDM to have. It's, it's mostly just like stay back while attacking cover center with him, you know? I think on with both of them on stay back while attacking cover center, playing the striker as a stay central, the team is really, really well balanced like that with him and his squad. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the Matuidi card. He's actually really solid. So people have decided that a basic chemistry style was the best for him. So basic would give him a plus five for sprint speed, some defensive stats, some physical stats, passing stats, shooting stats, dribbling stats. You know what? I agree with that. Yeah, I... Mm, the second one would probably be anchor, right? Anchor would give him a plus five, plus five. Yeah, see, like, the basic would be good. I, I'm not opposed to the basic at all. I just think that... Giving him that plus five for acceleration is very helpful because his, he transitions left and right like a beast. So when you can accelerate with those dribbling stats really nicely, it's really, really helpful, right? Like I said, the fact that he's base 90 acceleration with 85 sprint speed, it just makes more sense to give him the anchor, in my opinion, because 
I focus mostly with this card on stay back while attacking cover center, which he does really, really well. 85 attacking positioning. He'll attack sometimes, even with the medium high. Like, sometimes he'll do it, but on stay back while attacking cover center, like, you don't expect it that much, right? On Alon's card, he will be more aggressive because he has 90 attacking positioning, right? Um... But with a card like Matuidi, stay back while attacking cover center, really nice. Uh, 5'11 height with a lean body type. He does actually have a lean body type. That was one of the things that I noticed instantly about the card uh, when I was using it. But he he's like lean, but it actually helps him so much. Again, because of the dribbling stats that he has. It helps him in regards to dribbling. It helps him in regards to off the ball movement defensively. And I like that when I was using Alon. Just me manually using Alon, Matuidi would always position himself really nicely so that when I do switch to him, he defends really nicely as well. So um, it would also be another good selection. Honestly, the only thing that's really an issue with the card is the two star weak foot because, you know, situations where he rotates with the other CDM and, you know, you find yourself in a situation where if he had a four star weak foot, he could, poten he could potentially score. A two star weak foot's not necessarily going to be ideal, but. If you have him on stay back while attacking cover center anyways, he'll mostly be in the left, on the left side anyways, right? So, um, yeah, it would also be a good selection. Which card would I prefer out of the three? I think I had the most fun with Draxler, but I wouldn't be opposed to anyone getting any of the cards. It really just depends on the situation of your team. It's not like a, a Draxler versus Matuidi situation because they're both good cards. It just really depends on uh, what you guys are going to need in your squad because... A medium-high French link player that plays well in the CDM position is very helpful for a lot of different players, especially for the Juve links as well, right? So, um, really depends on you guys, to be honest. I think he's a good card. I don't think you guys will hate the card by any means. I think he's very, very smart in game. And, um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the review. I'll catch you guys for the next one. I, If I was going to choose between the cards that I enjoyed the most, it would probably be Draxler. Draxler was really, really fun to use. And the reason why he was the most fun to use was because he had the finesse shot trait with the five-star weak foot. Huge, huge thing to have uh, with the way that he was playing in game. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.